I think parties would do well to see that mediation is solution finding. It is finding a solution through mutual negotiations. Uh, the biggest winner would be for parties which are business minded, not for parties intent on just winning the litigation because you could lose the commercial war, you could lose the business aspects of the relationship that you tried so hard for years to cultivate and to maintain. Um, I, th I think when parties realise that, and especially when you have a dispute of an international cross-border commercial nature, we are not quite sure how litigation will turn out and the kind of destructiveness uh, that an intensive and aggressive litigation process can bring about upon that business relationship, parties would want and parties should explore uh, a mediation. And I think the opportunities for restoration of a potentially damaged commercial relationship would be greatest uh, in an international commercial relationship because you, you, you um, do not risk uh, uh, the potential damage to that relationship through engaging in a formal litigation process that you may not be very familiar with because that formal litigation process is being worked out and carried out in an alien country and in a foreign jurisdiction. Um, I have a slight preference uh, for mediation. Um, I think both offers opportunities for parties to come together and um, in, a, in a slightly more relaxed environment than court proceedings um, to work out the differences. The litigation, um, unfortunately, because it is normally in a more intense pressure cooker sort of environment, does not quite present the same opportunities. Arbitration uh, uh, do uh, to a great extent, but mediation provides uh, that greatest opportunity because the entire process of mediation is skewed or is designed to allow parties the maximum opportunity uh, to talk, um, um, uh, to find ways in which you know, a landing point could be reached uh, for a common position. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I, I think the highlights are obviously uh, that uh, the opportunities uh, or the cases where parties actually find uh, a settlement. Um, there have been a few uh, and, and, and I'm very um, happy to say that um, uh, in my later years, in, my, in the more recent years as a mediator, I find in fact the rate of success um, uh, going up uh, um, uh, than in the earlier days where people are perhaps um, a little bit more suspicious uh, of uh, the entire mediation process. Um, so my highlight um, so far, I think, is in the realisation that the process is working, that attitudes are changing, uh, that postures are now more uh, supportive uh, of, a, um, uh, of a suggestion to mediate. People are not quite as suspicious uh, and parties are beginning uh, to accept uh, that an opportunity or an invitation to mediate does not necessarily sound uh, as a indication of weakness uh, from the other side. Uh, the highlight for me, um, personally, uh, has been the resolve in setting up the SIMC. And I think that we need to take this message to uh, parties involved in cross-border international uh, disputes and to telling them that there can exist a place, there can exist a forum, there can exist parties who are neutral, absolutely, but skilled and dedicated, committed to bring parties to a settlement.